Hello, 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 everybody. Root Beer here, and we are going to be starting the very first question in Part C on the 2008 Grade 7 Math Contest. So the Part C questions, these are the challenging ones. These are the ones that are worth significantly more marks. They're each worth eight marks, as opposed to six in the last part and five in the very first part, Part A. So as I say, we're going to be starting it off. In this video, we're going to be going through question number 21. And once again, I'd like to you know, suggest that maybe you stop, pause the video, download a copy of the contest, try the question out first, rather than just watch me go through it. Now, if you've tried it and you stumbled a little bit, we can you watch the video and maybe you'll uh, pick up from my method uh, a way to do it. But um, practice makes perfect. You don't practice and you just sit there saying, uh-huh, uh-huh, yep, I could have done that. You can convince yourself you're prepared for a question like this when perhaps you aren't. Anyway, uh, Andrea has finished the third day of a six-day canoe trip. If she has completed three-sevenths of the trip's total distance of 168 kilometers, 168 is uh, 7 times 24, I know this because there's seven days in a week and 24 hours in a day, so this actually does come up the number 168, a fair bit. Um, how many kilometers per day must she average for the remainder of her trip? Okay, so keyword there, average, and we want kilometers per day, so we want um, to figure out how much, uh, so if we want the average, we need the distance for the rest of the trip divided by number of days in the rest of the trip. Okay. So we have some things to think about. Well, how much more distance does she have to go? And how many more days are left of her trip? Well, we do know that she finished the third day of a six-day canoe trip. So she has the fourth, fifth, and finally the sixth days of her canoe trip. And that's three days left. So she's, she has three days left in her trip. So uh, the average is going to be uh, over three days. Three days left in her trip. The question is, how much further does she have to go? Well, they tell us in the question she has gone three-sevenths of the total of 168 kilometers. Now, we could do one of two things. We could figure out, okay, three-sevenths of 168, how much is that? 72 kilometers. Uh, I did that by multiplying 24 by 3. But, um, you know, we could figure that out. Subtract it from the total 168, and that's how much she has left to do. That's one way to do it. Or we could say, okay, she's completed three-sevenths of her journey. She has four-sevenths left to go. How much is four-sevenths of 168? Okay, and that works as well. Whatever method you would prefer to do, I'm going to say she has four-sevenths of 168 left to go. Okay, and so that's going to be 4 over 7 times 168. As I already mentioned, I know from dealing with a number of hours in a week that 168 is 7 times 24. And when I realize that, the 7s cancel out really quickly. 4 times 24 is 96 kilometers. Okay. Don't think that you have to do it in your head. Don't think you should automatically know, oh, 168, that's the number of hours in a week, so it's 7 times 24. Of course, use your calculator if you want to, if you need to. Okay? The goal is to maximize your score, not to fulfill some desire to, you know, do this as old mathematicians from the 1800s would do it. Okay? You've got the tools. Use them. But this question is still doable uh, if you have forgotten your calculator. Okay, absolutely it can be done. So she's got 96 kilometers to go, three days to go as well. So what is the average for her remaining days? 96 over 3. Well, 9 over 3 is 3. 6 over 3 is 2. 
So 32 kilometers per day is what she must average now. Okay. So how many kilometers per day must she average for the remainder of her trip? And that's D, 32. All right, we're going to flip the page in anticipation of question number 22. I will see you guys for that in the next video. Until then, have a wonderful day.